hey guys so in this lecture we we'll understand what are attached properties in wpf now before you begin this lecture make sure that you have watched both of my videos on dependency properties because to understand attached properties you need to have a idea of what are dependency properties so let's quickly jump out to our slides now attached properties in wpf are a special type of dependency properties so this is the reason why i wanted you to know what are dependency properties in the first place now every attached property is created just like as a dependency property so you can say that uh, it is a dependency property with some extra features so it is called as attached property now an attached property could be added to any object in wpf that derives from dependency object so i will show you this example when when we uh, once we proceed to through our demo but you should remember this point that that any object in wpf that derives from dependency object we can apply any attached property to it now take for example grid class so we have come uh, across many times the grid layout panel so it has two properties grid dot row and grid dot column now in this uh, grid class that this dot row and dot column are the attached properties of grid class now same applies for canvas dot top and canvas dot left so let's quickly jump on to visual studio and uh, let's see uh, what do i mean by these points so let's go to visual studio and let's go to the code behind class so if you are watching this video without watching my dependency property video so it will be quite difficult for you to understand this video so first please watch that dependency property video and then you can proceed through this video so let's uh, say for example let's have a grid grid class and let's navigate to the definition of this grid class so you can see we have the definition of our grid class which derives from panel and i dot child interface okay now you can see this row property in here it's created as a dependency property right so I, if i expand this you can see this uh, windows dot controls dot grid dot row attached property okay so this attached property of grid dot row is created as a dependency property now this is the point what i mentioned in my slide you can see the first point attached properties in WPF are special type of dependency properties. So if you need to create a attached property, you will be creating it as a dependency property and then uh, you need to tweak it to make it a attached property. So this row property is a dependency property. Okay. Now let's go to this set row. Now you can see this set row is the special type of static method which sets the row okay so the backing property is this row property which is a dependency property and how i am setting the value of this dependency property with the help of a static method so all this point will be uh, will be clear once we go through our demo and in that uh, through that demo you will also understand what is the difference between dependency properties and attached property so this demo is just to show you how this row property is created in here okay so this is a dependency property a special type of dependency property which is created as a attached property so let's go back to our class and let's see for a canvas control also now let's go to the definition of this canvas and you can see this top property right property left property and bottom property now let's expand this and you can see this is a attached property but it is created as a dependency property so all these properties like grid dot row grid dot column canvas dot top canvas dot bottom etc are the attached properties okay so this dot rows dot columns dot bottom dot top are the attached properties let's go back to our slides so you can see uh, uh, this all things i have listed in my third point now the uh, the big question comes why do we need attached property if we already have a dependency property system in the place right so the reason why we need attached property is because we want dot row and dot column properties to be applied on elements contained inside the grid not on the grid now let's quickly jump on to our visual studio again and let's go to the code behind class so i'll be showing you the same example what i showed you on my dependency property demo in a brief manner so let me have a button inside it and you can let's navigate to the definition of this okay so if you remember button class derives from button base and it in turn derive from content control and then it derives from control class okay so our background property of the button is present onto the control class 
okay so this i have shown you in my dependency property video also now so this background property now is a dependency property right so i could also have this background property created as a attached property right but what i want i want this background property to apply only onto the button so button does not contain anything okay so this is the reason why this background property is created as a dependency property but if you consider the example of a grid i want this dot row and dot column properties not to be applied not onto the grid but onto the elements that are contained inside the grid so this is the reason why i have a special type of property called as attached property so so let's make it clear so if you need a property that should be applied onto the control itself you will be creating a dependency property but if you need a property that should be applied onto the children of that control so you will be creating attached property so let's quickly move on to our slides again so this is the point what i have mentioned in the last so the reason why we need attached property is because we want dot row and dot column properties to apply on elements contained inside the grid not onto the grid and so i hope this is clear so all these points will be very clear once we go through our demo so let's quickly jump into visual studio again and let me close this and let's start with our demo okay so let's go to the so let me first delete this button and let me go to the main window.xaml class okay so it contains a grid in here okay now let me have uh, a button inside this grid so i will be creating a button the height of that button will be 150 width will be 150 okay let me close this button and i get a button so let me make this width as 250 and this says 100 let me expand this so you can see let it make it make it big now let me have a list box too so i am just creating a list box inside uh, this grid list box and let me close this list box or so let's first add some items inside the list box so this is clear to you so let me close this list box in here and let me add some items so let me paste this so you can see now i have a button and i have a list box inside this grid but uh, the view of my button has gone right that's because this list box is now covering that button okay so to display my button i just need to create a grid with two rows so in first rows we will be placing our button and in the second row we will be uh, placing our list box so let me paste a code in here so i have defined a uh, row definition and inside this i have two rows okay. so i should place this button inside this grid dot row equals zero so my button comes let me place this as in one and the list box should be on the grid dot row equals zero okay so this is my button and this is my list box now let's create a uh, attached property name property and uh, we will apply this property both to the grid and the list box so let me create uh, go to the main window xaml.cs and let me create a attached property in here so the shortcut of creating attached property is just type prop a and press tab twice so you can you are creating a attached property in here so you can see the syntax it looks very similar to the dependency property creation so but there are few differences we will come to those differences once we are done with this demo so let me give the type of my property as string and let me give the title as new name okay so this new name is my property name okay so the syntax is quite similar to dependency property so the owner class should be main window okay now just to show you that what's the difference between dependency property syntax and attached property syntax let me make a dependency property too and you can see here are two methods for attached property and here i have a normal clr property for dependency property so what is the function of this get and set methods it's it gets the value of dependency property and sets the value of dependency property now this function is done 
with the help of two methods in the case of attached properties so i have a static method get so get new name so this is getting this new name attached property and this function is setting this value of this new name property so the what was the function of this CLR property it 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 used to get and set the values of dependency properties so this is not present in case of attached properties in case of attached properties there are two methods which do the same job okay so let me first comment out this dependency property syntax because we don't need it here so i have my get new name property created and we will apply this attached property onto our controls that those are list box and button control which i have defined in my main window now both of these controls are ui elements okay so i have a ui element class and both buttons and list box are derived from this class so this class also has a click event handler of ui element click so let me create a click event handler for this ui element class now the reason why i am creating a click event handler is because when i will click the button the message will be invoked and the uh, the title of my uh, control will be displayed through this attached property so this will be very clear once we uh, go proceed through this demo so let me paste this code in here so you can see i have a simple ui element click event i'm just type casting this sender variable of object type onto my ui element and then i am displaying a message box which says title of your control is and then i am getting the this attached property whatever the value is present in this attached property i am getting this through this static method in here okay and this is the title of my message box okay so let me save this and let me go to main window.saml okay now let me define a click event of this button so this is the click event so i am just attaching this ui element click in the click event of this button so i am not at calling the normal button button click event okay i am ca calling the ui element click event and now you can see what's the namespace of my this uh, demo it's the local namespace so i have given the name local okay so the moment i type a local and then i give this main window you can see my new name attached property is available to me okay so let me have this new name attached property here and let me set the name of this button so it says super button okay now let's try to run this application so let me try to run this and i hope so we will get a exception in here you can see i have a exception so why this exception is coming let me show you the detail so it says the invocation of the constructor type attached property that matches a specified binding uh, constraints through a new exception that's because i have uh, defined a property metadata in here that's because i'm just setting a name i'm not dealing with any animation any property coherence i'm not uh, dealing with any of these special features so i should not provide a property metadata okay so let me stop this application and does not provide a property metadata now let's try to run this you can see my window is here and let me click on to my button and you can see the title of the control is super button so i am now uh, setting a name of my button through a attached property so if you remember in the beginning of my video i told you that if i define an attached property it could be applied to all the objects that derive from the dependency object so this was not the case with dependency property so dependency properties are exclusive to their controls just like background property of the button but since i have created a attached property i can apply this attached property onto my list box also okay so let me apply this uh, attached property onto my list box so i will just say local main window and new name and let me have the name as batman okay so batman is the name of my list box but how i will invoke the click event so list box has a event called as preview mouse left button down so when i will i will be pressing the left button of my mouse my ui element click will be firing so it's just like normal uh, button click okay so i will be clicking my uh, left button of my mouse okay so this will set the name of my uh, attached property as batman 
let's try to run this now and let me click the button first the title of your control is super button now i am setting the same attached property onto my list box let me click it title of your control is batman okay so my list box has become batman my button is super button okay and this i have achieved with the help of attached property so this attached property behavior could be attached to any of the control that is defined inside this window and this was not with the case of dependency property so what is the difference between attached property and dependency property dependency property is exclusive to your control attached property can be attached to any of the control or your custom attached property can be attached to any of the control so attached property is analogous to the extension methods you are attaching that attached property to your controls okay now let's uncomment this dependency property syntax and you can see the differences between these two properties okay so let me first make it in a single screen and let me first quickly jump onto our slides so let me quickly jump onto slides and you can see the attached properties and dependency properties difference are listed in here so attached properties are special dependency properties but all dependency properties are not attached okay so you can understand it in a vice versa manner so whenever i create attached property i create as a dependency property but i am but whenever i create a dependency property i am not creating it as a attached property okay so attached properties are registered using register attached method and dependency property are registered using register method so you can see the here in the syntax uh, this is the syntax of attached property so you i am using register attached method okay and in the case of dependency property i am using register method so this is one of the big difference between uh, attached property and dependency properties now let's go to the third point attached property is wrapped and accessed with static methods for get and set whereas dependency property is wrapped inside normal clr property and accessed through its get and set methods so you can see it's a normal clr property in case of dependency property and i have static methods in in case of attached properties so this is also a very big difference between dependency properties and attached property and so the favorite question of interviews interviewers are what is the difference between dependency properties and attached property so your answer must be that dependence uh, attached property are a special type of dependency properties we don't have any normal clr property wrapper over attached properties we have static methods to access the values okay also attached property is created with the help of register attached methods whereas dependency property is created with the help of register method okay so i hope the concept of attached property is clear in your mind so let's go to our slides so all the points are listed in here for the first slide so you can note it down and all the points are listed here for the second slide so thank you so much guys for listening if you have any doubt please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you so very much